In this video, I will be reading all of the white cards from the upcoming Adventures in the Forgotten Realms expansion for Magic the Gathering. Plus two mace is an artifact equipment for one generic and one white mana that reads equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has an equipped cost of three generic mana. Arborea Pegasus is a 2-3 Pegasus creature for 3 generic and 1 white mana. It has flying, and when Arborea Pegasus enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and gains flying until end of turn. Blink Dog is a 1-1 dog creature for 2 generic and 1 white mana. It has double strike and an activated ability labeled teleport that says for 3 generic and 1 white mana, Blink Dog phases out. The Book of Exalted Deeds is a legendary artifact for three white mana. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying. For three white, you can tap it and exile the Book of Exalted Deeds. Put an enlightened counter on target angel. It gains you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Activate only as a sorcery. Celestial Unicorn is a 3-2 unicorn creature for two generic and one white mana. That says, whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Celestial Unicorn. Cleric Class is a class enchantment for one white mana. It begins with, if you would gain life, you gain that much life plus one instead. For level two, costs three generic and one white, and adds, whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Level 3 costs 4 generic and 1 white, and when this class becomes level 3, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain life equal to its toughness. Cloister Gargoyle is a 0-4 gargoyle artifact creature for 2 generic and 1 white mana that reads, when Cloister Gargoyle enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. As long as you've completed a dungeon, Cloister Gargoyle gets plus 3 plus 0 and has flying. Dancing Sword is an artifact equipment for one generic and one white mana. It has equipped creature gets plus two plus one, and when equipped creature dies, you may have Dancing Sword become a 2-1 construct artifact creature with flying and ward one. If you do, it isn't an equipment. It has an equip cost of one generic mana. Dawnbringer Cleric is a 1-3 human cleric creature for one generic and one white mana. When Dawnbringer Cleric enters the battlefield, choose one. Cure wounds, you gain two life. Dispel magic, destroy target enchantment. Or gentle repose, exile target card from a graveyard. Delver's Torch is an artifact equipment for one generic and one white mana. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one. Whenever equipped creature attacks, venture into the dungeon. And it has equip cost of three generic mana. Devoted Paladin is a 4-4 Orc Knight creature for four generic and one white mana. Beacon of Hope, when Devoted Paladin enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain vigilance until end of turn. Divine Smite is an instant for one generic and one white mana. Target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls phases out. If that permanent is black, exile it instead. Dragon's Disciple is a 1-3 human monk creature for one generic and one white mana. As Dragon's Disciple enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you do, or if you control a dragon, Dragon's Disciple enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. Dragons you control have Ward 1. Dwarfhold Champion is a 3-1 Dwarf Warrior creature for one generic and one white mana. As long as Dwarfhold Champion is equipped, it gets plus zero plus two. Flump is a 0-4 jellyfish creature for one generic and one white mana with defender and flying. Whenever Flump is dealt damage, you and target opponent each draw a card. Gloomstalker is a 2-3 dwarf ranger creature for two generic and one white mana. As long as you've completed a dungeon, Gloomstalker has double strike. Grand Master of Flowers is a legendary planeswalker behemoth. For two generic and two white mana, it enters with three loyalty counters. As long as Grand Master of Flowers has seven or more loyalty counters on him, he's a 7-7 dragon god creature with flying and indestructible. For plus one, target creature without first strike, double strike, or vigilance can't attack or block until your next turn. And also for plus one, you have the option to search your library and or graveyard for a card named Monk of the Open Hand, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle. 
Guardian of Faith is a 3-2 Spirit Knight creature for one generic and two white mana. As Flash, Vigilance, when Guardian of Faith enters the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control phase out. Half-Elf Monk is a 1-4 Human Elf Monk creature for three generic and one white mana. It has Vigilance and also the ability Stunning Strike, which reads one generic, one white, and tap it to tap target creature. Icing Death, Frost Tyrant, is a 4-3 Legendary Dragon creature for 2 generic and 2 white mana. It has Flying and Vigilance. Also, when Icing Death, Frost Tyrant dies, create Icing Death, Frost Tongue, a Legendary White Equipment Artifact token with Equipped Creature gets plus 2 plus 0, and whenever Equipped Creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls, and an equip cost of 2 generic mana. Ingenious Smith is a 1-1 human artificer creature for 1 generic and 1 white mana. When Ingenious Smith enters the battlefield, look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Ingenious Smith. This ability triggers only once each turn. Keen-Eared Sentry is a 2-1 human soldier creature for 1 generic and 1 white mana. It has You Have Hexproof, and each opponent can't venture into the dungeon more than once each turn. Loyal Warhound is a 3-1 dog creature for 1 generic and 1 white mana. It has Vigilance, and when Loyal Warhound enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for a basic planes card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Minimus Containment is an aura enchantment for 2 generic and 1 white mana. It has Enchant Non-Land Permanent. Enchanted Permanent is a treasure artifact with tap, sacrifice this artifact, add 1 mana of any color, and it loses all other abilities. Monk of the Open Hand is a 1-1 one, one elf monk creature for 1 white mana. It has Flurry of Blows, which reads whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Monk of the Open Hand. Moonblessed Cleric is a 3-2 Human Elf Cleric creature for 2 generic and 1 white mana. It has Divine Intervention, which reads, When Moonblessed Cleric enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it, then shuffle and put that card on top. Nadar, Selfless Paladin, is a 3-3 Legendary Dragon Knight creature for 2 generic and 1 white mana, with Vigilance. Whenever Nadar, Selfless Paladin, enters the battlefield or attacks, venture into the dungeon. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one as long as you've completed a dungeon. Oswald Fiddlebender is a 2-2 legendary gnome artificer creature for one generic and one white mana. It has magical tinkering, which reads, pay one white, tap this creature, and sacrifice an artifact. Search your library for an artifact card with mana value equal to one plus the sacrificed artifact's mana value. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Activate this ability only as a sorcery. Paladin class is a class enchantment for one white mana. It begins with spells your opponents cast during your turn cost one generic mana more to cast. At level two, which costs two generic and a white mana, creatures you control get plus one plus one. At level three, for four generic and one white mana, whenever you attack until end of turn, target attacking creature gets plus one plus one for each other attacking creature and gains double strike. Paladin Shield is an artifact equipment for one generic and one white mana with flash. When Paladin Shield enters the battlefield, attach it to the target creature you control. Equipped creature gets plus zero plus two, and it has an equip cost of three generic mana. Planar Ally is a 3-3 three, three angel creature for three generic and two white mana. It has flying, and whenever Planar Ally attacks, venture into the dungeon. Plate Armor is an artifact equipment for 2 generic and 1 white mana. Equipped creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and has ward of 1 generic mana. Its equip cost is 3 generic mana. This ability costs 1 less to activate for each other equipment you control. Portable Hole is an artifact for 1 white mana. When Portable Hole enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value 2 or less until Portable Hole leaves the battlefield. Potion of Healing is an artifact for one generic and one white mana. When Potion of Healing enters the battlefield, draw a card. 
Pay one white mana, tap and sacrifice Potion of Healing, you gain three life. Priest of Ancient Lore is a 2-1 Dwarf Cleric creature for two generic and one white mana. When Priest of Ancient Lore enters the battlefield, you gain one life and draw a card. Rally Maneuver is an instant for two generic and one white mana. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. Up to one other target creature gets plus zero plus two and gains lifelink until end of turn. Ranger's Hawk is a 1-1 one, one bird creature for one white mana. It has flying. Also, for three generic mana, tap and tap another untapped creature you control. Venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Steadfast Paladin is a 2-2 dwarf knight creature for one generic and one white mana with lifelink. Teleportation Circle is an enchantment for three generic and one white mana. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one target artifact or creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Veteran Dungeoneer is a 3-4 human warrior creature for three generic and one white mana. When Veteran Dungeoneer enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. White Dragon is a 4-4 dragon creature for four generic and two white mana. It has flying and cold breath, which reads, when White Dragon enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. You hear something on watch is an instant for one generic and one white mana. Choose one, rouse the party, which reads creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn, or set off traps. This spell deals five damage to target attacking creature. Your ambushed on the road is an instant for one white mana. Choose one, make a retreat, return target creature you control to its owner's hand, or stand and fight. Target creature gets plus one plus three until end of turn. Thanks for watching, like the channel, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I do the other colors. Uh, and also please see the description to check out my Patreon page and consider supporting the channel. Thanks!